Howdy, I'm the Pencil Neck Geek, and welcome to another Pencil Neck Review. Today, I'm going to go over something I like to call Pencil Neck's Secret Stash. So what this whole thing is, is how I find expired domains that have good authority, and they're just, they've already got authority, they already got backlinks, and and they're the same price as if I would go buy a brand new domain with with no backlinks at GoDaddy or you know any of those registrars that sell domains so what I did okay so let me go over this a little bit this is called Domain Hunter Gatherer Pro this is the only version I recommend you buy you could go for the light version or the there's a free version and there's a, a cheap version cheap version only gives you the web 2.0 hunter I think which is okay I mean if you're on a serious budget you might want to check that out because you can buy good ex or well they're not you don't have to buy them they're free you just have to re-register them you just go pick them up it finds expired web 2.0s for you that can be re-registered and they already got authority and backlinks you can also go and, and do a domain auction. This will also hunt through auctions. Anyways, I like to use the expired domain hunter. And I usually hunt from the keywords. You can also hunt from websites if you got a list of websites you want it to crawl. Or you can reverse hunt. I haven't used this, so it, it reverse hunts, whatever that is. And then you can filter domains which I always do and then you can also analyze your domains and right here in setup you'll need proxies I only use 10 at the moment and you have to get a shared account API key which is a free one and nowadays he if you buy the pro version you don't need to worry about having a, a Moz account or a Majestic account it's already built in to get the uh, the stats and stuff so let's get back over here this is my secret stash this is what I call the pencil neck secret stash and I just ran a crawl I let it run for about a week I used alternative fuels as a keyword I used green building supplies and um, green alternatives as a keyword and I told it to crawl four deep and you know that's really kind of deep for three keywords I, I, I usually just you can set it to two or three seems like three I've had it come to an end you know it's it completed but with this four it was only eight percent done when I finally said a week is long enough and it came back with 21,243 results and you can see that right in here these are I got a lot of results and it will filter by you know what you have to analyze it to find out the age and some of these other metrics I pretty much only worry about the majestic or right over here you know the links the referring domains the majestic tr citation and trust flow and then this number here should be really close to one and then the links I don't really worry about too much but it's kind of nice I do look at it because it's you want them to have links and domain Moz domain authority domain and Moz page authority that's pretty much all I worry about I worry about page and domain authority and I worry about trust and citation flow and I like to see that it's got links So I'm going to filter these domains. I'm going to add a filter right here. I'm going to choose the TLD. I'm going to write com, C-O-M, add, because I, I want it to filter out everything but the dot coms. I'm going to add another one, another TLD. I'm going to add net, N-E-T. And I'm going to add another one for TLD, because I want org. And now I'm going to add a couple others. I'm going to add 
Um, where is it? Ma's domain authority of 10. And then I'm going to add that. Okay, so now you can see that it's brought me down to 2,051 results. And I could further analyze these domains if I wanted to know the age of the domain. And if I click right, right click in here, I think you can see that these are all stats that I can filter, you know, lots of stuff in here. But I, I unclick a lot of these. Otherwise, the metrics I'm interested in are way over here, and i got to slide back and forth. So I, I don't really even care about these ones, so I'll just uncheck that. And now I can see my, my stuff a lot easier. I don't care about that. That's a Yahoo indexed. All right. So there's my metrics, the, my, the links, the referring domain, citation trust. And let me sort this by trust flow. You want a trust flow of 10 or higher. Let's add that. Moz trust of 10 and add. Okay, so I got, I got the dot coms, the dot nets, the dot orgs. I got domain authority of 10 or higher, and I got Ma, or that sh Ma's trust. That's not the one I wanted. Remove that one. I wanted Majestic. Majestic trust flow is what I wanted of 10 or higher. Okay, now I'm down to 397 domains worth checking out out of 21,000. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm at the top here. And let's take a look here. Let's slide this over to the middle. Okay, you can see that we got a, this is a little bit low. It doesn't have very many links. Main authority, page authority. So all these ones here are looking okay-ish, right? They're all close to one. You want these to be really close to one to one. If you see them being like, Like this, 13, you got a thir 33 and 12. That means that it's been spammed really bad probably. And you should just avoid it. There's no reason to go after anything that is this, this far apart. If The closer one to one, the better. This is 2.75. So let's get back here at the top. Now what you can do is this one's not looking bad, right? It's got a high page authority. It's got a 12, domain authority of 12. It's got a few links, nothing too great. But let's take a look at it. We'll copy the selected domain. I'm gonna go to GoDaddy I'll search it, make sure it's still available. Okay, still available. Now go to internet, or to archive.org. This is the Wayback Machine. Paste it in here. We'll browse its history. And we'll click on one of these from the most recent. Check out the most recent. Okay, nothing for that. We'll go back a little farther.
And nothing. So let's go back even farther. I don't see nothing. Oh, it's still loading. Okay, Mulberry Street. Vintage metal furniture. Um, take a look at it. You know, it doesn't look like it's been a, a, a PBN or anything like that yet. Let's look back farther. And back farther. And let's go way back here. Alright, well, I ended up being slow. We'll check a different one. And you know, it looks like it's been... Um, a metal chair website his whole life. Doesn't really look like it ever changed hands. Out here it's been dead for a while. There's no no captures. It says there's captures, but, but there isn't any that it's showing. And the most recent is just um, by this domain. So, that's pretty awesome. So let's copy that. Now, a lot of people, you probably would want to use Majestic for this, but I don't have Majestic. I have this, it's SERPed up here, and it gives me a lot of a lot of tools. There's a lot of tools at my disposal with this, and I use the Site Explorer inside here. You can use Moz, M-O-Z, and they have a open Site Explorer. Which is, you know, there's a price tag behind that. And Ma Majestic has a price tag. And this has a price tag. They all cost something. They're not free and they're not cheap. Okay, mulberrystreetonline.com. I'm going to check both with and without. We're going to analyze this domain. So, what I see here is... The with the dub 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 is it says there's no trust flow. It it doesn't look the same as it did over in Domain Hunter Gatherer. But anyways, I'm gonna look at it. View the WWW. We're gonna check that first. And down here it's you can see that this is what it looks like inside of Majestic. They have this. This is Majestic. It's got one that looks pretty good here and a couple that you know they're kind of crappy looking and it shows two total backlinks eight in total um, it's got Mulberry Street owner Mulberry Street so it's all branded there's it, there's no spammy looking links here um, anchor text alright let's go check the other one without the W's. The non... And now you can see this one looks like it... It's looking better. See, the closer to this line, the better these dots are. And above the line, you want them as close to this line and above this line. So, you know, this, this is looking a little better. It's got 48 backlinks. It says 14 over here. So these are actually looking not bad because they're not hovering around the bottom down here. And then it shows Mulberry Street, Mulberry Street, Mulberry Family History, Lovingly Restored Vintage Lawn Furniture, Spring Glider, Glider, Vintage Metal Furniture, Owner, Owner. Yeah, so all of these, so all of these are natural and completely relevant. So let's take a look down here. Here's some more of the anchor text. Trust flow. Okay, now I'm going to look at the, I'm going to view the backlinks for this. I'm just going to choose one per domain. The 
this is um, the source citation flow. So that's where it's coming from. So this has a link, antique, antique vintage appliances.com, home garden shopping, shelterific category. Okay, it's showing that all of these look relevant. And this one has a, a trust flow of 29 and 21, 12 and 11, 10 and 14, 4 and 6. And these are all the, the target URLs. And this is the anchor text. So that was a branded, that's owner, branded, um, branded, another, just a URL, URL. Do follow, do follow, do follow, do follow. So this here, Mulberry Street Online.com without the three W's. I would buy this. I would definitely go and buy this domain. This is a quality domain. So let's go back to Site Explorer. We'll go with the new search. So now I would um, copy that. I would open a text document, paste it in there, paste, give myself some lines. Now let's go back to our, our software. I'm going to add a star to that, favorite it. Um, Ethan Orf. Now let's head back over here. See, it had a good page authority, and it's got a, you know, it's not terrific, 12, but it's a start, and... Once you get it back alive, the the page authority will start to come back and the domain authority will start to come back. And it's already got a little bit of authority. I mean, it takes a little while and a few links to get up to 12. It's not just, they start at zero. So let's see, this one, 24 and 24, doesn't have many links. Um, but that's fine. Let's copy this one. Copy. Copy the selected domain. Now we're going to go back. Back to GoDaddy, paste it in here, search. Okay, it's still available. Now we're going to go to the archive.org, paste it in there, and go. Hmm, it doesn't, let's show all. It's not showing anything. Okay, well, that one for some reason isn't showing anything. But I'll search it anyways. We'll paste it in here with and without. Analyze it. Okay. So it's 24 and 22. That's really good. And those aren't very close. So we'll check out the three dubs first. You know, domain authority at 13. All right. Now look at this. It's got dots really close to this line. It's got one down here. Um, see it? Not many links. It's got whatever that is. Ethanorpha. Ethanorpha. Um, ethanol. Production average. So it has something to do with don't mess with RFS. Renewable Fuel Association. So this all seems like it's probably natural. There's no, there's nothing about Viagra or purses or shoes. These are all natural looking. All right, let's go. You see, it's not bad. We'll look at the non-dub, even though it doesn't look like they use that one very much. See, and, it, and those links are still there. They still look fine. It's got the same anchors. Okay, let's go back to that 3-dub version. I want to check the backlinks. See what kind of backlinks they got. One per domain. You could do more if you wanted. 
All right, now I'm gonna, the source trust flow, set them all at high, Pacific ethanol, trust flow, 45 and 35, energy, age wired, grain net, ethanol, biofuel digest, these are all do follow. Trust flow of 45, 11. You know, it doesn't have very many links, but they're all very relevant. Here's the, the anchor text is branded with the URL. Don't mess with RFS, which is, um, who knows, I forget. There was renewable fuel um, something, probably. Renewable fuel ethanol production so that's the anchor text leading to this domain so if you had anything in the green niche and this right here ethanorpha is another right on domain quality domain I would buy this domain too because the reason I did this search is because I was looking this was, let's make a note. This was um, metal furniture. And then, I wanna throw a dash in there. And this is um, ethanol. Ethanol. Um, what else did they say about it? Renewable. Can't even spell. All right. Now that's just two domains that I've searched out of out of the 21,000. These are the first two I even looked at. That's not very normal, you know. And let's head back out here. This one has a... Well, that didn't have much for page authority. And it was a 13 for a domain authority. But it has good trust flow. If it's over 10, and this is 24 and 24, that's really quite good. And this one had no page authority of 16. That's a pretty good domain authority. And 1.1, 1 .1, so 23 and 21. Oh, it's got a lot of links, it says. So let's check this one out. Copy. Go back to GoDaddy. Paste that in there. Search. Oh, it's taken. So I can go back to my uh, software and delete that. Delete that selected domain. Somebody bought that one. Let's go back out here. And the next one down is 21 of a page authority of 10, a domain authority. That's pretty, 20 to, and there's only four links, which isn't very good, but that's better than none, right? And it's already got domain authority of 16 or something. So let's go back to GoDaddy. Paste that in there. Search it again. Okay, that one's good. It's available. We'll show all. All right. In 2014, it says out here, was the last... We'll grab this one. Not found. We'll go back to the next one. Not found. Tampa Bay um, Business Alliance. TBBA Online. Tampa Bay Business Alliance. So, that's probably what that TBBA Online stands for. Um... Okay, let's look back a little farther. It 
Tampa Bay Business Alliance. You know, this doesn't look like it was ever like a, a blog or a, a, even a PBN, like a private blog network. Nobody ever tried ranking. Um, okay, so that needs to be set up there. TBBA, the Backyard Basketball Baseball Association, the Backyard Baseball Association. So see, it has changed. It, it started out as a as some kind of a baseball. Team roster standing schedule. This looks like it was a legitimate blog. And maybe this was a little spammy. But I'm not really seeing all oh, classifieds, it says. You know, I, I don't really see that this is a, this might have been kind of spammy. I can't really tell. But it changed from baseball to business association. We'll check it out anyways. With and without. Let me go and look again real quick. It had a domain authority of 10, page authority of 21, good trust flow, not many links. So, you know, this is one that is probably good. Might not be anything you want to get your hopes up about. So it's showing 24 to 19, that's pretty close. We'll check these. These, these, are, it's got, look at that. Uh-huh. Only problem with the, and it's branded. It's got a, a URL link to it. That's the dub, the dub, dub, dub version. Let's check the non-dub. And it still looks nice right there. There's, the only thing is there's not very many links. So if you lose that link and there's like one URL. Let's view the backlinks. See where it came from. NAS, NAS, NAX, I don't know what that is, so do follow, it comes from a good trustful, it's a do follow, so you know this domain is probably a good one, and it, but the only thing is, is it doesn't have very many links. But it's definitely worth $10. If you go to GoDaddy, you can buy that domain for $10. Or whatever they charge. And it could increase back up to a 21-page authority. It's got a DA of 10. And good trust flow. But some of these others, like here. Here's one that's looking pretty good. It's a little bit... See, that number is getting a little bit wide, and there's a lot of links. So let's check this one out. Indian Sex Gallery. So that's probably one you would just want to delete. I don't think that Indian Sexy Gallery. You probably don't want to deal with that. Just delete that domain. And now I still have almost 400 more domains to go through. So that's 
my secret stash. That's how I find quality expired domains I can pick up for the cost of registering a brand new domain. Now what you need to do is go pick up this hunter gatherer domain hunter gatherer and there will be a link right below this video so you can click on that and if you want to see the full review make sure to check me out on pencilneck.org and there will be you know more of a review than just this video. But there you go. Fast, easy. Well, it wasn't fast. It took me a week to find all these. But all I had to do was leave it on a shelf and let it run. You know, I threw in I threw in three keywords and told it to crawl four deep and it was only 8% completed when I decided that it ran long enough. So there you go. Go grab the Domain Hunter Gatherer Pro. That's the version I'd get.